I'm Mary with Everything Mary, and I'm so glad you could join me today on Crochet Soiree. Well, as you can see, I don't have any jewelry on. I wanted you to see my sweater. And this sweater that I like so well has a hole in it right here. So rather than get rid of it, I decided that maybe it was time to do something different and refurbish it and renew it a little bit. So today I'm going to show you how to make a collar for your sweater and some cuffs. To get started, I picked out this wonderful variegated yarn. And I just love the way they're doing the variegated yarn anymore. This was a great big ball of yarn that I bought. As you can see, see all the pretty pinks and reds in it and purples. I think it picks up in the sweater very nicely. But as I'm crocheting it, look at the difference in the variegation. And it's not just so close. It's very different. And this is the lighter pinks and purples. And then this is into the grays with just a hint of the pink and purple in it. And then we go to a cuff where it's got more of your brighter pinks, almost a red, and a little bit of the, your purple in it. So... This is just really, really nice variegated yarn. And you know, I was looking at all my old yarns, and of course this is the type of yarn we always used to use. And when we were using this type of yarn, which is still out on the market and still absolutely my preference, I really like the variegated yarn and you've seen me use it a lot. So this is, But this one I've seen out on the market forever and ever, and it still works. But, oh my goodness, what they're doing with them now. This is another one I pulled out that I bought a few years ago. And look at it. It's just got the oranges and the pinks and the yellows. Um, but a lot different variation from the variegated yarn that I just showed you. Also, this is really soft and fuzzy, so it makes it look a little bit different. This one is another variation of a variegated yarn. It's got your greens and your blues and a little bit of brown in it. This one, though, is not as visible as this particular one here. So just lots of different ones, and I love them all, and I love experimenting with every one of them. But let's get started on this project. So because I have a hole in this sweater, I decided to make myself a collar for it. And what I did is I measured around this sweater, excuse me, bought this really bulky yarn which really crochets quickly, an N crochet hook, which makes it crochet even faster, very, very easy project, quick and easy, you can do it in one evening. So I measured around the sweater. Now, once I got this done, I, I actually made this 15 inches wide. You can make it any width you want. You actually could even make it only this wide and sew it to this um, sweater. But I made it very wide. One, because I thought maybe I'd use it as a cow collar. And you know, if you did this, this piece here measures 30 inches long, which is just what this neckline happened to be. But if you make it 30, 35 inches long and you want to so just stitch it together when you're finished, you know you really could stitch it together, bring it over like this, and just put it around you as a cow collar and it would work great. And actually, see, it would even hide my, I think it hides my little hole. But that's not the way I wanted to use it. But how cool would that be? Anyway, so once you're finished with this, I'm going to actually sew this to my sweater. And I'm going to sew it around like this, and then just fold it over. So this is what it will end up looking like when you see it on me next time. I'm going to actually walk away and sew it on, and then come back. But that's in a minute. For the cuffs, the cuffs are so easy to do. I, there again, just like the collar, I measured around my sleeve. So, and then I just measured as far up as I thought I wanted it. In crocheting it as far up as I wanted it, I wanted to remember that I was going to fold it over in half. This is really what I'm hoping you'll see when it's all finished. Then, for the cuff, I am going to actually stitch it together. And what I did 
is rather than stitch it together, I took a long, I left a longer piece of yarn, put the two of these together, and then just crocheted them together this way, so that it's just a little bit easier than stitching everything on. The, the beauty about this cuff, though, is that now that I have it done like this, I can actually sew it to my sweater, or watch this. I can just come in here like this, put my sweater around it, just like this, and then fold it up. And look here, I have my cuff already done. I don't have to sew it on. I don't have to do anything. I can go all day this way with this cuff. Isn't that great? Now, through the beauty of video, I'm going to be able to shut this off and I'm going to sew this on. Before I sew it on though, I want to give you a little tip about that. I'm using a great big needle. Can you see how big this needle is? I'm actually going to measure it for you in case you can't see it. I'm using hot pink thread because of course pink's my favorite color and it's just so easy to hide your thread with this, with this um, yarn so you can use anything but the reason I like the big needle is because look how much I can grab at a time and I'll grab this through my sweater also but I just wanted to show you if you're not a sewer if you very seldom sew it works anyway it absolutely works so this is a great idea and I'll come back in just a minute and show you how great it looks on once I have it finished and no hold in thank you I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. I have sewn on my collar and doesn't it look absolutely great? I'm so excited about it. I put the cuffs on just like I showed you I would. They are not attached so they're easy and maybe you can even use them on another sweater. How easy is this? I did want to mention because I get so excited when I'm talking that as I was telling you how to measure your yarn and everything and crochet it, I did not tell you that I use single crochet. And I just single crocheted to the length of the, the collar that I wanted, and that's the way I did that. So also you could use, though, double crochet, and guess what? As quick as this went together, double crochet would make it go together even quicker. So that's it for this segment of Out of the Box with Everything Mary, and I'm so glad you could join me. See you next time.